so good afternoon students today i am going to explain about the bisection method this method is the first method to use the to find the root of the equation this is a very basic method and in this video we will see its principle and how it can be used by using some example so let us see first of all we will see its principle uh, using the graph that uh, we can see on the right hand side so let us see so this bisection method is basically it is based on the intermediate value property so we can say it is it is based on the repeated application of intermediate value property so it is based on intermediate value property now let us say that this is continuous between a and b so let let fx is continuous between a and b so from graph we can say the value of root will lie between a and this is a and b so it will be the value will be like this if suppose the value of a is 2 and value of b is 3 then this will be like 2.3 it may be 2.3 it may be 2.5 and so on so from this graph we can say ultimately we have to reach at this point to find the root that we will see later now let fx is continuous between a and b and for definiteness or definiteness say for definiteness let fa is negative and fb is positive so this f a is negative and f b is positive this we can see from this figure also now now the first approximation now we can find out its first approximation by bisecting the interval so we can write here x1 is a plus b upon 2 here we are bisecting the interval that's why it is called bisection method bisecting the interval so now now we will calculate we will find out fx1 we will put the value of x as x1 and we will find the value if suppose this fx1 is 0 it means we are finding the solution so we can say x1 will be the root so if if fx1 equals to 0 
then x1 is the root of fx equals to 0 and we will stop here this is the root else else the root will lie the root lies between a and x1 or a and x1 or x1 and b according as according as f x1 is positive or negative. So, this will lie between a and x1 or x1 and b. So, it will depend on the value of f x1. Now, after seeing this, we will find the second approximation. So, we will see second approximation that is x2. So, from this figure, because we can say, say f x 1 this f x 1 is this is positive because this is positive therefore, the root will lie between a and x 1. So, the value of x 2 will be this will be a plus x 1 upon 2. So, here we are bisecting the interval. So, in this way we can find the second approximation this will be a plus x 1 upon 2 or we can also see from here this value will lie between a and this x 1. Now, we will find out we will calculate f x 2 f x 2. So, this f x 2 we can see from here this f x 2 is again this is negative f x 2 is negative from graph. So, what we will do? It means the value will lie between x1 and x2. Therefore, we can write here that is to say the root will lie between x 1 and x 2 x 1 and x 2. So, for third approximation now we will find the third approximation. So, third approximation it can be given as x 3 equals to this will be x 1 plus x 2 upon 2. So, in this way we can find out the third approximation and so on and so on. So, this is the procedure with the help of which we can find the final value of the root. So, we can see again uh, we can let us take a review initially we have taken two values we are saying that f x is continuous between a and b and we will calculate f a and f b f a is initially we have taken f a is negative and f b is 
post positive it means the value will lie between a and b once we are sure that value is lying between two values we, we will bisect it so we have bisected it means we will the first approximation will be a plus b upon 2 so we will calculate a plus b upon 2 and after that it means that will be the x1 then we have calculated that the value of fx1 fx1 is positive that is why the value will lie between a and x1 so we have we can see from here this x2 is a plus x1 upon 2 and after that we will find out the fx2 fx2 this is negative and this is negative it means the value will lie between x1 and x2 so we have find the we have found the value of next approximation that is to say x3 and this is x1 plus x2 upon 2 in this way we will finally reach at this point that will be the root of the equation so this is the bisection method now let us discuss or we will use this we will apply this bisection method let us see one example so so in this example we have to find a root of equation x cube minus 4x minus 9 equals to 0 using the bisection method in four stages now let us see so let fx is equals to x cube minus 4x minus 9 now we will find f1 so if we calculate f1 this will be negative this is negative then f2 if we calculate f2 this is also negative so we cannot take these two values because we have to take the initial values on the basis of the sign so one should be negative and other should, should be positive that we have already seen in the graph so we cannot take these two values 1 and 2 then we find f3 so this will be positive so what we will do initially we will take two values 2 and 3 because at 2 this is negative and at 3 this is positive hence the root lies between 2 and 3 so a will be 2 and b equals to 3 we can say this uh, this is a and this is b now we will find out the first approximation to the root this is the first approximation so as we know what we do we bisect the interval so the first approximation that is x1 this will be a plus b upon 2 so x1 will be this is a plus b upon 2 so a is 2 and b is 3 so 2 plus 3 upon 2 is this is 2.5 so it comes out to be 2.5 now we will find out f 2.5 so simply we will put this value 2.5 here in this equation that is x cube minus 4x minus 9 so we will find this minus 3.375 and this value is negative this is negative hence we can say because this is negative so as per the graph we can say like we have seen in the graph this is x y these values are negative and this is these values were positive so it means the root lies between x1 and x3 so this root will lie between x1 and x3 now we will find the second approximation on the basis of these two values now a is x1 and b is 3 so x2 will be this will be x1 plus 3 upon 2 and the value of x1 is 2.5 therefore 2.5 plus 3 upon 2 it comes out to be 2. 7, 5. now we will find fx2 or we can say this value we will put this value in the given equation that is x cube minus 4x minus 9 so we will put this 2.75 here so we can calculate fx2 2.75 whole cube minus 4 into 2.75 minus 9 equals to it comes out to be 0.7969 this is 
positive so if it is if it is positive so we can say these are the positive values so if it is positive then we can say the root the root will lie between x1 and x2 so root will lie between x1 and x2 now on the basis of this x1 and x2 we will find the third approximation so this is the third approximation to the root so it will it will be again this will be a plus b upon 2 but now a is x1 and b is x2 so this x3 will be x1 plus x2 upon 2 and this value comes out to be 2.625 now we will put this value in the equation as we have done in the previous cases to find the first and second approximation so this will be f 2.625 equals to 2.625 whole cube minus 4 into 2.625 minus 9 it comes out to be minus 1.412 1 and this value is negative so if this value is negative it means the root will lie between x2 and x3 as per this graph because we are getting the negative value here so it will be the root will lie between x2 and x3 now we will find the fourth approximation so fourth approximation to the root is this will be x4 equals to x2 plus x3 divided by 2 and it comes out to be 2.6875 so as per the requirement of the question we have to go up to fourth stages so fourth approximation this is 2.6875 so we can say this is the final root or the value of root is this is 2.6875 we can also compare this value with this the previous values like the first value was this was 2.5 this is first first value and then the second value is this is 2.75 then 2.625 and the fourth one is 2.6875 so this is the final approximation using the bisection method so i hope that you would be benefited from this uh, lecture thank you